Hey guys, what's up? It's Winston here, and we're live, uh, in a live video podcast uh, for a while. This is episode number 78, I believe, and uh, we've got some special announcements to make, and hopefully uh, we'll give you some insight on what's happening this year, and also some in- exciting news. <clears throat> all right, so let me want to check the, uh, the volume, make sure it's all good, because uh, you know what it's like. You streaming and then your volume is like no volume oh my god all right so let's have a look at the facebook make sure we're all good and we want to check out the uh, connections are all good one second and uh yeah we're good. All right, we're good. So we're live, episode number 78, and uh, welcome to the Funky Kid uh, Live video podcast. I'm Winston, and uh, your host for tonight. So we've got some great news, lots of happening. So uh, let's start with uh, some of the reviews we've done in the past couple of weeks. Uh, if you look at uh, the uh, that side, this side, yeah, this is the right hand side. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, left hand side. You'll see a couple of reviews. Let's start with the beginning. Um, okay, let's go back to here. Right. So we have this headset I'm using right now. This is the Logitech G uh, 933S. Uh, it's a wireless 7.1 surround sound headset, gaming headset. It's got a nice detachable mic, uh, not detachable, sorry, a retractable mic. And it has RGB as well. It's very big, but lightweight. And it's got good sound, good uh, crisp highs and deep lows, and good bass as well. So uh, this is what I'm using right now to record wirelessly, and it's all good. And uh, yeah. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, it does cost a bit. It's about 130, 140 US dollars. So with that price, I think it's okay for a wireless headset. Uh, it is gaming. It's nice. Now all you need now is some wireless keyboard and mice to go with this. All right. So we're all good. So yeah, check out the review on our website. So this is the uh, Logitech uh, G, G933S wireless 7.1 gaming headset. This is really good. All right. Next then we have uh, this here. This is the uh, the SimGot high-res uh, IME. Is it IME? IEM. Yeah, head earphones. So they kind of wrap around your ear lobes, and that kind of uh, comes out, and then it goes into your ear, uh, in ear. So it's not too bad. The audio is good. Uh, these cost $110 US, so they're not cheap, but they are good quality sound. I've been using them on my uh, Samsung phone as well as my iPhone, the old iPhone with the 3.5 millimeter jack, yeah. So this is a 3.5 millimeter jack. It's not wireless, uh, but it does good good sound. Um, these you can get from Amazon, so check out the links and also the website for the review. And next we have uh, the Antec P101 uh, chassis. So, so this chassis is, it looks very plain, but uh, it's silent, okay? So uh, how what they do is they actually put um, kind of layering of the on the chassis. So so it's the sound is, and it comes with uh, the fans and the fans no fans and then the fans you could just put in your fans whatever you want. So Noctua fans are required if you want a really silent chassis. And obviously it hasn't got any tampered uh, glass windows or anything like that. So it looks a bit boring. But if you want a, want a nice silent chassis, this is the one you want. So go and check out the review also on our website. Um, next, we have this. This is the Silentium PC RGB, the Navi, Navis RGB. So it's a 280 uh, all-in-one cooler. And this one is uh, with a 280 millimeter radiator. And you can put uh, 240 millimeter fans. Uh, with it, so it's it's not too bad actually. This one's sitting on uh, the Core i9, I believe. So uh, Bart's been reviewing that. Uh, it's good uh, cooler, all in one, and it has a nice RGB effect as well. You can check out the logo on that. So check out the review on our website. 
Um, also then, this is a giveaway. So uh, we've been collaborating with Zotac recently and Zotac have agreed then to, uh, you know, come up with some free giveaways. And this one is the, uh, the uh, Zotac gaming backpack. So um, it's basically, it's kind of backpack you can get actually online in some of the online retail stores, but they put the Zotac logo, Zotac gaming logo on there. And it's pretty decent. It's got, right? It's got the uh, USB charging port as well as uh, and things like that. So check out the uh, the competition and, and a prize giveaway. All you need to do is uh, uh, <clears throat> just subscribe to our YouTube channel visit our website and also uh, follow the instructions. So it's very simple um, and you're in, chance, in for a chance to win some prizes. All right, so uh, let's see what else. Uh, here we have uh, the ASUS Tough Gaming GeForce GTX 1660 OC edition. Um, that's something I... Um, okay with uh, it's not the greatest graphics card you can get for the price but it's uh, it's got this tough gaming alliance thing going on there um, the performance wise it's it's uh, okay it's okay it's, it's uh, if you are gonna get a graphics card based on the 16 series GTX from Nvidia go for the uh, 1660 Ti that's what I'm saying all right um, but if your budget is really tight, then that's something that you might want to go for. Um, performance is okay. Yeah, well, that's about it. That's NVIDIA's fault for releasing too many graphics cards. All right, so next month they are releasing the uh, 16... No, actually, this month. Yeah, the GTX 1650. Why bother? <laughs> anyway, so let's just let you know um, up-and-coming uh, products from NVIDIA. Uh, that's something I'm not too happy about because they're just releasing too many graphics cards and they're trying to keep AMD down, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, that's that. And next we have the, um, this is a nice cool case. I like this one. It has RGB, it's from LAN Cool. It's a kind of um, sub-brand of uh, Lian Li and it's got this nice RGB going on there. It's in the white uh, chassis kind of style format. So uh, check out the review. Uh, it'd be quite surprise the quality and also the features of this case um not too bad yeah and then um this one is the rgb uh, uh gaming uh 10 keyless keyboard so this one if you're not if you're not sure what i mean 10 keyless so i have a keyboard right here um it's from corsair this one but it's got the 10 keyless uh, i'll show you what i mean now right here give me a second so this is what I mean by 10 keyless keyboard, right? So there you go. Um, it hasn't got the uh, the number pad, right? So with this, it's a nice compact keyboard you can take with you anywhere. And uh, this course here I've reviewed um, last year, actually. Very nice keyboard. I love it. I've been using it for uh, for the last six months. No problems with it whatsoever. It's a wireless one, this one. Um, perfect for what I need to use for. Uh, so you can check out the website for a uh, review on the website. Uh, but yeah, so the course, the Cooler Master one is uh, reviewed by uh, uh, Chris from the US team. And uh, you can check out the website here <coughs> for the review. CK530. This one is... Um, very nice. I like this one as well. Uh, good quality keyboard from Cooler Master. They're starting to put a lot of uh, gaming products um, this year, or oh, last year and this year as well. So you can see more mice, keyboard, and headset from Cooler Master. Okay. And uh, I think uh, we have, that's it for the reviews. But you can go actually go back and check out more reviews. If you go to the reviews here, you can see a lot more I've done, including the, um, the Bart's done the, the Patriot Viper VPN, uh, not the VPN, like Virtual Private Network. That's just the name, <laughs> OK? Uh, the model name of the uh, the Patriot Viper uh, VPN 100 is the f uh, 512 gig uh, version, SSD, very fast. You're talking three gigabytes read, fig uh, almost like three gigabytes but it's right as well so that uh, we also reviewed the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 this is the gaming X version a um, little bit better than the uh, Asus one but still I I would recommend you get the 1660 Ti 
Uh, and then we have the Zotac, Zotac uh, review of the GeForce GTX, uh, the 6060 Ti, very nice, I like that one. Um, then we have more AIO, AIO coolers from uh, Emina, Enemax, Liqui, Liquitech, yeah, two, uh, 360, that one. And then Corsair chassis from um, uh, review by uh, uh, Jeremy. So very nice, yeah. And then uh, carry on and we have um, <clears throat> the ASRock B450 Steel uh, uh, Legend. So uh, we're getting a lot of hits on this one. Uh, it's one of these um, nicely designed motherboard based on the B350 chipset for AMD, uh, Ryzen CPUs, the AM4 socket, and uh, has a nice design, tough components, a bit tough, I mean, high quality components, uh, tested for reliability and so on. So uh, yeah, it's a nice bullet, but I, I quite like it. And then obviously this is fun. This is the uh, Thermaltake uh, water RAM RGB. So it's a, a water cooled RAM 16 gig kit and people thinking, what the hell do you need that for? Well, I'm gonna be putting this into our new system build. So uh, check out the, uh, uh, the system build we're gonna be doing. I'm more about that in a sec. Um, there's some more uh, coolers from Arctic Freezer. All right, so these are the reviews. Check out the website. There's tons and tons of reviews. And also, you can support us by clicking on the links uh, from Amazon. Also, uh, check out the uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so these are the reviews. Let's get on to my other uh, slide screenshot. Uh, let me just switch over. Uh, one second. Here we go. Let me... Uh... Let me just get back into this page. And here we go. So we have right here uh, at the bottom right here, it's our um, Beast Ripper. So this Beast Ripper build, um, I built uh, kind of late last year. It's the end project that I've been uh, used. So this one is based on the Cooler Master <coughs> C700P chassis, right? So this is a huge chassis, uh, really good chassis. I love it. It's got all nice designs. It's got the RGB you can see, um, you know, from the the top here, right here, uh, and also there we have um, ML fans. So these are the ML fans from um, Kuluma, uh, Corsair. So ML 140 fans. We have one here at the back, and then three at the top. Um, which will help with the airflow. And this is all Corsair up with some Corsair RAM there, right there. So you've got Corsair DDR4 uh, um, 3000 Vengeance RGB. Uh, we've got four sticks of that, very nice. And uh, giving you a total size of 32 gig. And then we also have the um, Corsair 115i uh, Pro all-in-one cooler which has the tr4 bracket yes this is a tr4 system uh thread ripper 1950x yes amd 1950x and then also this is sitting on the the asrock uh the x399 motherboard which i'll show you here so this one has the um this is the x399 uh phantom gaming 6 uh motherboard so this is for the uh tr4 socket processors such as the uh, Ryzen uh, <coughs> Threadripper 1950X. Yeah. And finally, we have just the standard um, uh, Radeon in there at the moment. We'll replace that with maybe a, a, a GeForce uh, later on as well. And then, of course, we have the uh, uh, the Corsair uh, radiator with the three uh, LL120 fans making it a 360 radiator. It's very nice. So check out the build log and also the test results that we've done uh, on the system on our website. So, yeah. Um, moving over to another camera view, <clears throat> back onto the screen now. So, um, as you know, we've done a lot of uh, reviews, and uh, this is all thanks to our readers uh, and visitors who wants to check out some of our latest uh, products uh, or latest products from from the of the vendors. And uh, this is all thanks to you guys. So, so thanks uh, for your support. And let's move on to something that I've uh, been waiting to tell you guys so as you know we've been running a lot of these prize giveaways and um and the only way that we could do it if, uh, i know there's other better ways of doing it but i thought we, we you know we're just going to do what we normally do is to post the uh um the 
the price giveaway on our website and then let you guys join in and subscribe or you know put the comment on and so on so <clears throat> um i think it was a couple of months ago we had a winner for the uh, azus uh b360 uh gaming motherboard so let me just get that out so this one is a a, a, f a very nice motherboard um this one right here okay so this one uh as you can see uh we've actually picked uh, this guy here shane hardgrave so shane hardgrave uh we did send you uh messages uh on the facebook because uh one of the um you know one of the terms are is that you need to subscribe to our uh, uh or like our facebook page and so on so that we announce the the winner on on the facebook page and unfortunately we uh allow seven days to claim the prize and unfortunately he didn't claim his prize so um what's next uh well um we're gonna have to pick another winner so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to pick a winner. So give me a second. Let me just check the Facebook page. Make sure we're all good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, pick a winner. So this is it. We have to going to pick another way, uh, a winner. So, so sorry, uh, Shane Hardgrave. Uh, we did give you a chance. It's seven days to claim your prize. You didn't claim your prize in time. So now we're going to have to, uh, rather than relist it and do everything again, we're just going to get um, a pick another winner from the list of eligible uh, entrants. So let's do that live right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to a, a number, a random number generator. Yes. <laughs> Google. So what we do is we have to pick one from uh, a minimum number to a maximum number. So let's go back to review. Let's click on to the comment section. And as you can see, there's 123 comments. So whoever entered here, right, with the correct answer, has to be a correct answer, of course, is that uh, we will pick out of one between one and 123. So we type in 123 here. And we're going to generate randomly. And here we go, 11. So it's not 11 from the top, it's 11 from the bottom. So we come from the earliest date. So let's go back into our comment section and pick number 11. So, all right, I think it's more. All right, so who's gonna be the lucky winner? <laughs> all right, so 11 from here. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so daniel t you are the winner with the correct answer so let me uh do a quick reply and uh unfortunately he didn't reply to get his prize so i'm sorry yeah all right so so daniel t you are the winner daniel t so daniel t i will send you on facebook if you're available or announce it on Facebook uh, that you've actually uh, kind of re we redrew the uh, prize giveaway and you are the winner. So you have seven days to claim your prize. OK, so if you don't do that, then we're going to have to kind of um, pick another winner. OK, so well done to Daniel T. And this is generated from the uh, Google random number generator. So. You, you might want to thank Google for that. Okay, so let's let's move on. And uh, Daniel T is the winner on this competition. And this is the uh, uh, Strix Gaming. Yeah, it's a B360F motherboard. Not bad, actually. Yeah. All right, this is for Intel, of course. All right, so let's move on. Uh, this is some of the reviews I've done. This is, of course, the, the, the YouTube channel I've been 
doing a lot of videos lately on YouTube. So um, check out the videos. Give us your support and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, you might not agree with some of the words I've say, or maybe you don't like the review in the sense that I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's not I don't want to know what I'm talking about. It's just that there's just too many things to talk about. So I'm just just went like an overview of the product, and uh, you know give you the benefits or some of the benefits that you you know on negatives and positives and so on. So it's basically a quick overview. Uh, if we went in in depth into the motherboard or, or the product, then it could I could be talking for like an hour or more, and you don't want that. So the, these are short videos, six to seven, eight minutes long. Check it out and give us some support. And of course, leave a comment uh, and give us some the, your advice and, and maybe something that you want to see more of or less of. Then uh, we can actually improve on our videos. So thank you for your support, who all of you are subscribers. Of course, we want more uh, so that we can help to give you what you need or what you want. All right. <clears throat> Next, then, uh, let's talk about our new up-and-coming project. So this is something that uh, we've been working on, uh, again, with our main guys uh, from Zotac and uh, Thermaltake as well as uh, ASRock. So so this build is going to be, this is the build of the, for the first part of the year. We usually do two parts, two builds. Um, this one is um, going to be based on uh, what we call kind of uh, RGB, you know, it has to be RGB, of course. Yeah, it has to be RGB. So this is uh, based on a project, uh, Battle Angel Alita. So uh, we got the arm. So I'm not sure if you've seen our pictures on Instagram. Oh, Instagram. I will talk about that in a bit. <clears throat> yeah, so this is based on um, the Battle Angel Alita. So we got like an arm uh from a mannequin store <laughs> yeah and we're gonna be painting that and then hopefully try to not match it but you know do the best we can with the the uh, coating uh, so it looks like a robotic arm and uh, this is going to be placed inside the chassis it's a thermal take um uh, uh, level 20 gt so it's one of their brand new kind of premium case it has uh, uh, four panels of the uh, tempered glass but we're going to take one of the panels off in fact two because uh, the arm is going to be in the front of the case it's like a gripping onto the front and we're going to put like um uh, hard tubing water cooling yes it's custom loop water tubing um around the arm so it looks pretty decent with the water flow and everything and the top is we're going to have some kind of uh, like a mesh kind of uh, metallic kind of uh, design to it so it's going to hopefully look good it's going to be all thermal take water cooling parts uh, with film thermal take fans pumps reservoirs and water blocks and so on so it's 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 basically a zotec slash thermal take slash asrock uh, build uh, yeah the motherboard is the asrock um uh, here yeah we're gonna put one of these in so this is the uh the asrock phantom gaming um nine z390 phantom gaming nine so we're going to put this in and uh this is going to be running uh, of course an intel uh, i'm not sure i'm going to put i9 in there but probably uh, i7 um and this will be a very nice motherboard to go with the system and hopefully it will be uh the one of the projects that we uh build uh hopefully within uh, bef after Easter, after Easter, we're waiting on the uh, Zotac graphics cards. So this is going to be uh, two. Yes, we're going to have two the um, RTX 2080 uh, in an SLI mode. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a project. We've got all the bits, the hard tube bending kit. We've got the heat guns, and we got the you know the yeah. So uh, we're going to do bit by bit, and hopefully, if we can maybe do a um, uh, uh, maybe a live stream once a week or something about of the current status of the build. Um, we're not going to do a lot of um, cutting or um, or kind of messing around with the uh, Dremel a lot because we want to keep the, the chassis nice as is because it is a nice chassis and uh, premium you know chassis from uh, Thermal Take so we're going to keep it as but we're going to add some designs onto it so hopefully it'll look good and uh, we'll see. All right, so uh, let's move on to what I mentioned earlier, and that's the uh, Twitter. No, 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 Instagram. Yes, so we've added Instagram 
to our whole lineup of social media so we've got like of course youtube we've got twitter we've got facebook uh we've got twitch uh though we haven't done much live uh, twitching <laughs> or streaming um because of course uh I, I was once a gamer but not anymore but yeah the number of hours i need to do for live streaming is ridiculous for twitch so uh, i'm gonna kind of pass that I'll leave that on the side but anyway yes yeah, so we got twitch uh, we got twitch which we don't use a lot with them but facebook yep yeah, definitely uh videos on youtube of course um the twitter which is all linked up with uh, facebook and then now we have uh instagram um although we're not going to put a lot of videos on there we're going to do a lot of uh, photos and screenshots and random kind of like you know uh off the cuff stuff you know so we want to just upload it so we're going to be doing a lot of that in Computex, uh, which is the other announcement I wanted to uh, make. That we're going to be going to Computex this year, um, uh, 2019. Yes, a Computex. So we're going to be there, uh, Team Funky Kid. Uh, it'll be a skeleton crew. Uh, unfortunately, Loy, Wing, and obviously Tony uh, have been busy with their own projects. And uh, this year is going to be me. And um, hopefully, I want to get my brother to come along. So, yeah. Um, so, me and my brother, we're going to be check out uh, Computex. And so, yeah, we. Uh, <clears throat> so, those are the things happening this year so far at uh, Funky Kit. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, been very busy with a lot of videos. Uh, a lot of reviews and obviously um, lots of things happening in terms of projects and also collaboration with a lot of the uh, the vendors. And uh, that's uh, the announcements I want to make. So we got announced the winner or redrew the winner. Um, so Blick T, I believe, right? Yeah, Blick T is the one. He actually won it. Scroll down at the bottom. Where are you, Blick T? Oh, sorry, Daniel T. Daniel T. Daniel T, you are the winner for the uh, Asus uh, Strix B360F gaming motherboard. So well done. And uh, yeah, this is oh look at that, very nice. Yeah, go check out the, uh, the website for the the build our our uh, loop our Corsair 360 uh, the H1315i. All right. So those are the announcements, and uh, I'm not going to do any gaming tonight because uh, I want to upgrade my graphics card. <laughs> the one I'm using is kind of half, um, uh, well, I'll say broken. It doesn't go very high res. So there you go. If you look on the, sorry, this side, you'll see the Corsair build. Um, with Cor yeah, Corsair and Cooler Master uh, last year. Uh, this one is when I put uh, put in the Corsair all-in-one. Yeah, so we took the f the the fan off. This is the Noctua heatsinker fan. Instead, then we put in the uh, the Corsair. This is the mounting bracket that you need for the TR4 socket. You can see right there. Surprising, quite surprisingly, quite easy to uh, install. The hardest part is the cabling. Oh my God, the the cabling that you need for the RGB. Oh my God, so much stuff. There you go, and that's the uh, yeah TR4 socket and. All right, so it's all good. Let's um, let's check out what stuff I have also. Oh, talking about that, uh, the the uh, Phantom Gaming, uh, the Z390 Phantom Gaming 9, we're going to be um, um, reviewing that uh, this weekend, so uh, more on that later. And also the Thermaltake uh, Level 20 GT RGB plus uh, it'd be interesting because this one using the software and all the controllers and everything in there is compatible with the uh, Razer Chroma and also uh, supports the Alexa Amazon Alexa and uh, of course is fully RGB with all of the uh, major um, you know 
RGB platforms such as Zeus or a Sync and Gigabyte Mystic Light, or uh, whatever, so many RGB stuff. I'm interested in uh, this though. We have the um, <clears throat> um, I bought these the other day. These are the um, uh, LED strips. Um, so there's not much to say about these, but these are uh, good because they are black. I mean the 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 back the the you know rather than white because the white goes off color quick, and um, and it should go pretty well with the case. And these are four pin ready, um, so it plugs straight into the motherboard. As you can see, if I flip the screen over, there you go. There's one right here. You can see um, right there, and that is the the RGB LED strips, which I mentioned here. I have two. Right. So, so that's that. And these are quite cheap. I got these for like ten, ten, five. Eight dollars US, yeah, less than that, even. So, yeah, so these are the stuff I've got, and uh, I've been thinking of upgrading my camera as well. So all the videos you've seen are using the Canon 70D, I believe, and this is my brother's camera, which I've been using. It's okay, it's um, it's it's old, but it, it does it does the job well. Uh, but I'm thinking of getting the camera um, to go to Computex with as well, because we used um, um, Wing 7 A7 III, it was really good. Uh, but I can't afford that. It's like ridiculous, like two thousand US dollars. I mean, how the hell? <coughs> yeah. But um, um, I've used the A6300 before, and that was good, except that it battery life sucked a little bit, and it didn't have that flip up screen which I needed. Um, so I sold that, and I got myself the Canon M6. Uh, nice vlogging camera. It is a very nice vlogging camera. Uh, battery, it was okay. Uh, but it didn't do um, some of the stuff I needed to do, uh, such as, for example, if I wanted to hook up the uh, the camera um, to a uh, the uh, what you call it the um, yeah the video capture, it, it wouldn't work that well, and also a time limit, a record limit. Uh, so instead, uh, um, and and M6 is is not the highest spec but it, it doesn't do 4k or anything like that so but now released last month or a few weeks ago uh it's the sony a6400 now oh yes yes 4k a flip up screen a longer battery life uses the same cpu as the sony a9 and uh, it's got everything i need so this could be the camera that I want to get, and it is fairly affordable, like 800 to 900 US dollars. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it's it's in between between the uh, A6300, of course, and the A6500. It hasn't got image stabilizer. It hasn't got a mic in. Uh, it has got mic in. Sorry, it hasn't got earphone out, headphone out. So, um, but it doesn't matter. I think the A6400 could be the one I want. So we'll 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 uh, let you know. And finally, before we finish, we have um, T-shirts. Yes, the Funky Kit T-shirts. If you notice on our Facebook page as well as our Instagram page, I've posted a mock-up of our T-shirts. So the T-shirts will be available um, end of April. So you can pre-order if you want. You can contact us, email me, and uh, pre-order your T-shirts. We'll have them in a small, medium, uh, large, extra large, and XXL. Okay, um, I'm looking at uh, giving you guys a good price, 20 US dollars if you want it. Uh, but also, we'd be giving it away in our, fr our price giveaways uh, monthly in our competitions as well. So, uh, if you want an exclusive T-shirt from uh, us, Funky Kit, it's got the Funky Kit logo and everything. Um, free prize giveaways every month and we'll be giving away a t-shirt as well all right but if you want to buy them yeah twenty dollars is what i'm asking for because that's to just cover the cost of the t-shirt okay so more about that when we have them in stock we will be giving you 
a good look at the, the t-shirt so watch out for that end of april is when we're gonna have the t-shirts and uh yeah that's the final announcement so thanks for watching guys until next time um we'll we'll be uh probably uh mid may yeah mid may before computex yeah um so we'll do another broadcast then okay and uh, until then keep watching our videos subscribe to our youtube channel uh visit our website for more news reviews and hot tips and of course uh you know subscribe to our youtube channel and so on and, and, and visit our website competition prize giveaways amazing prize giveaways uh and uh, support us uh, by liking our facebook page of course and subscribing all right so thanks guys for your all your support uh we'll give you a, a weekly update on our website as well as on facebook page as well as twitter and instagram uh, of any any news of course and updates and on our projects and reviews and news okay so thanks for watching guys until next time this is winston for funkykit.com